Hi, I'm John. Some people call me Johnny, other people call me Jack, some people call me Comrade. My mother calls me Jonathan, but all of them call me a food snob. Today, I'll be reviewing pizza from Lumonati's Pizzeria, a chain local to Chicago that's been serving Chicago-style deep dish pizza since 1971. I opted for extra cheese and sausage on the entire pie and then half pepperoni. Look at what's happened. It's like you can see the base layer of cheese there and then like the toppings, which are the sausage. You can see some of the pepperoni. It's like sliding around on top of it. Um, and then look at all the juice. This is a very juicy, juicy pizza. It's about a juicy. Um, I got it uncut. Luminati's recommends getting it uncut because it, it seals in the flavor. Or it keeps going and man, as you can imagine, look at, you can see the pool up of like pizza, grease and juice there. Uh, we'll cut into it and, and take a look. You can see that really big tomato there, that hunk of sausage. The crust is all wet. My mouth is watering right now. Pretty good. Look at that. Look at the steam. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah. Look at that. Piping hot. Readable. The crust. It's this good, buttery, kind of flaky texture. And the, I mean, the flavor again, it's just very, basically buttery. The cheese, not as much flavor as I'd, I'd like. Still good, a little more neutral. Again, it serves as a texture. I mean, it's perfectly gooey and, you know, it's just got that cheesy, soft chewiness to it. The tomato, tomato sauce, it's good. It's very much tomato, maybe with a little salt, but it's, it's sweet. They just let, they, I mean, you can see the huge chunk of tomato there. They just let it shine. And it does. The sausage is interesting. I don't taste any fennel which normally you do in a lot of sausages. I'm not quite sure what it tastes like. I mean, sausage-wise. It definitely, based on the texture, the taste, I would say it's probably something that they make in-house. Let me spice up. Oh, caramel, oh, dripping. It's a juicy pizza. A little caramelization there. So I'm stopping after eating about half a pie, uh, but I wanted to, you guys to see, look at that just layer of sausage there. I would really ask for easy sausage. They just put so much. The pepperoni is kind of bunched up. It's not evenly dispersed. So you get these huge bites of flavor with the pepperoni, and then there are other places where it's not there. That was kind of a drag. I love it when that happens with pizza. The cheese almost solidifies. Again, some of the flavor returns. This bite tasted saltier than the one on the edge, which was much warmer. Let me bite into this caramelized part. Mm. That's good. This kind of charred, salty texture. Mm. Flavor, excuse me. It's really good. It's distracting me. Earthy as well from the burn from the char. Formalization. It's a good crust. And I normally don't eat the crust. The crust is the bone of a pizza. You don't really eat the bone. Not many people do. Mm. It's really good. Final thoughts? For a small, as you saw, this is really big. I need to check the price, but I think it's around like $12 for the base. And the toppings are kind of expensive, $2 per. 
I got extra cheese on mine because I'm a cheesy guy. I like cheese. So we have, I'm going to do two review levels. The first is a simple go, no go review or choice. This place is a go. Definitely recommend you you go. You can also, if you don't live in Chicago, this is a Chicagoland area re uh, restaurant. There's such a demand for it. It's so popular that they ship all across the U.S. That's kind of cool. Second level, second tier of review, five stars. What would I give this pizza? Probably four. What is it missing? Well, the cheese could be a little more flavorful. It could be a little more salty. It, it needs a little something more. The sauce is pretty good. The tomatoes really shine through. I feel like it could be a, just a little more, I don't know. Crust was good. Sausage was solid. I can tell the pepperoni isn't anything special in terms of like it's maybe one or two tiers above Domino's. We're not talking like made in house, custom, artisan supplier stuff. You know, I don't think it's cheap, but it certainly isn't high end. So solid four star pizza, which is damn good. I have yet to find a five star pizza. Yeah, so Lou Milani's, check it out. My name's John, I'm the Food Snob. Thanks for watching. Something special because it's my first official Food Snob movie review, whatever. Uh, I decided I'm going to treat myself, treat you guys. To a cookie pizza from Lou Malnati's. These things are incredible. I've had them once before. They do come with really tasty vanilla ice cream. They're really good. Look at the coloring. You know, just this brown, but it almost looks like it's, you know, kind of raw. And then a spoon comes into it and it's crunchy on the outside. You can even hear it, like the crust giving in. I'm just gonna scoop right in the middle there. And yeah, look at that. Like it's almost raw there on the bottom. Okay, the eating shot. I never do that. That made me do that. It's incredible. The place is definitely still a solid a go. Five stars. Cookies five stars. If you like pizza, or maybe deep dish doesn't do it for you, you still go for this. Go, come back, comment, tell me how right I was, because if you don't like this cookie, you're probably a Nazi, the devil, and like the guy who killed John Lennon all rolled into one person. This cookie's incredible. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. See you next time.